Hello, um, my name is Jennifer Nealand. I'm the expressive arts therapist and yoga instructor at Home Base. And today I'm here with Darnell McDonald, who um, is a former Boston Red Sox player and also a former mental skills coach for the Boston, uh, for the Chicago Cubs, excuse me. And um, he's a practitioner of mindfulness and he's gonna talk to us today about his practice and what brought him to mindfulness. Towards the end of my career, playing career, I started doing a, a little uh, yoga. I started with um, like Bikram yoga, Sumich yoga, as sort of a supplement to my workouts. And uh, you know, people said you're tight, you need to work on your flexibility. So that was one way that I I was doing that. And uh, you know, as I was doing all this yoga, I just know I always felt good when I left. Felt good, so I just kept coming back. It's like it's like golf. You hit that one shot that keeps you coming back. Um, then I, you know, I retired, and I got a little. I got deeper in my practice. That's when I did my yoga teacher training. As I went through my training, I started to understand why I was feeling good when I started, and I kept coming back. And that's you know because I was practicing being present, being in the moment. That's where. Uh, happiness and uh, all the all the magic is happening that's where life is happening my, moment to moment and so I started to understand how this related to baseball um, playing baseball we talk about playing the game pitch to pitch focusing concentrating well this is one way to practice doing that um, so just being you know being really really um, just passionate what this is it's done for me these practices and they've been life-saving basically i can tell you these things saved my life so i just my mission i want to spread the word to to everyone and and i tell them this is you know this is the happiness practice this is how you practice being happy mm -hmm. absolutely or being, or being in that zone or being in that flow state you know if you're a resilient warrior you know, and resilient warriors, they are, um, you know, that's what meditation is. It's a practice of resiliency. And how many times can you keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back? But the trick is, can you come back with the same enthusiasm as when you started the practice? Mm -hmm. Right. So that's where that mindfulness is. And yeah, that's that resiliency. I think that's the most important thing for all of us in life. Right? Because it's not what happens to us, but it's gonna, it's how we respond. And so when we do these these this mindfulness, when we practice this mindfulness, you can think of it as a response. Okay. Otherwise, we react. That's our autopilot. That's our default system. That's what we always do. So that the mindfulness allows us to create a little space between when that person cuts you off in the road instead of uh, cussing them out right away. You can take that breath and then decide if you're going to cuss them out. Uh, <laughs> it's that pause. The pause, and that's it. It's that's the empowering part. So when we we all like control, right? We like control, we like certainty. Well, this is this is um, as much of it is a, a practice of letting go. It's a practice of being in control of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. doing it intentionally doing it with purpose and so the more things that we can do with this intention with this import with this purpose all the way down to our breathing the better so like that's my goal each day I want to I my goal is to be more present than I was the day before mm -hmm. I want to continue doing that how can I be more present and for me it's just continue to come back to that breath, coming back to that breath, that slow, deep breath. And I mean, we can get into so many other things of, you know, how we're tapping into this parasympathetic nervous system mm -hmm. and uh, all the health benefits and good stuff. But I, the, the, the number, I think the number one thing that really, like I was in awe of this practice is when you Understand that you can basically you can change your brain You can change your brain and you can change the size of your brain by simply breathing 
Mm-hmm. Like, just think about that. You know, it's it's like, oh, I could just sit and breathe. I could change my brain. I could change the size of my brain. Um, so, you know, this is this is something that obviously it doesn't take a lot of resources. We're breath- everyone, we're all breathing. If we're not, we wouldn't be here. Doesn't take money, any of these things. And so I want to pass, spread the word, spread the word. And we're going to, this, this self-study, right? We're doing a self-study. We're going internal. Um, and this is, we can, we can change our lives by doing, by doing these, these things, by simply breathing and following your breath. <laughs>